Hey guys, since we're waiting for the next stage to unlock in the new special event, Aggressive Ambition, uh, let's uh, take a moment to check out the actual bonus series, the car, featured car, the Koenigsegg Agera RS is featured in, right. It is going to be under Road Collection, uh, used to be known as uh, Career, right? And yes, you'll find it under Legend section, as you can see from the cover. Uh, I believe it's a, that was a one-to-one -one on the cover, wasn't it? The other Conic Sag. Right, so the new bonus series, the car is going to be featured in, and that's the only single bonus series the car is featured in. Conic Sag Agera RS, that is. It's going to be Angel Holmes Advance, and uh, of course, series named after the hometown of Conic Sag. So, features three Conic Segs in the series. So, let's check in and uh, find out what this is all about. Since I briefly mentioned um, the series in the, the special event kind of intro, I figure I'll follow it up with the actual overview of this series here. Experience the fastest vehicles that Conic Tech has to offer. Each of these vehicles achieved extraordinary feats of engineering from reaching one megawatt of power to setting incredible high speed records. Right. So let's uh, check in here. So 10 gold for first 25% completion. By the way, there's 81 gold total rewards available. Uh, as you can see, first 25% is worth 10 gold. 50% uh, completion would add another 16 gold to that. And then 75% should be worth another 22 gold. And uh, final 100% completion would give you the remaining 33 to total the 81 gold total for the series. And to if you don't own any of the cars featured in this series, you will have to win 33 trophies in McLaren Generations to unlock this bonus series. And they say the final tier, the tier 20 here, the PR requirement is 94.6, which um, when maxed out, both uh, new Agera RS and uh, one to one can reach that uh, PR, but not Regera. That one, when it's maxed out, it can go up to 94.4. So that is 0.2 PR points shy of what's required. So I suppose if you have, if you get that uh, PR integer bug, uh, kind of a glitch that I was using in the, the Formula One events, then I suppose uh, you can completely, uh, you know, complete the series using fully upgraded Riera as well. But uh, that is uh, something else that we can talk about another time. But anyway, so 20 tiers, and because it's a bonus series, they, uh, you're going to need to own all three cars in order to 100% um, complete because there are tiers that feature a specific car. Like for example, tier 4 here, we got Riera Showcase. So you have to own this car, otherwise uh, you're not going to be able to race and win a trophy, hopefully gold trophy, to make your um, you know completion goal met right and then of course there's a time trial featuring the same showcase car and then we got the uh, in tier what is that one two three four five six seven eight tier nine we got the one to one showcase for the one to one right do they tell you the year of riera they don't they uh i remember when the riera was first 
introduced in the game. It was like around this time of the year, back in 2015, I think. Um, that was uh, pretty exciting when we were all very young. <laughs> anyway, back to the series at hand. And of course, there's a following time trial that goes with, that gets paired up with the showcase. And then 11, 12, 13, tier 14, we get the, the new Agera RS showcase paired up with its own time trial. So you'll need all the cars for 100% completion here. Of course, you get 20% discount for showcase if you don't own any of these cars. And, uh, I am currently got the special event going in order to win this Agera RS. So we'll see how that turns out. Stay tuned for the my uh, trials and tribulations through that special event. <laughs> but anyway, so tier one. Let's see. There is, of course, no uh, PR requirement. And uh, we got a cup at Silverstone here. It's going to be a single lap cup. So that's going to be a pretty quick one. Yeah, so both my Riera and 1 to 1 are fully upgraded because they've offered us um, upgrade discount in the past. So that's always nice opportunity to um, capitalize and, you know, get some extra mileage out of these cars. And both of these cars have exclusive series as well. So they are, you know... There's some extra races that you can run and get uh, pick up a few more gold while you're at it. So maybe uh, there'll be another video <laughs> for the exclusive series featuring these cars. But anyway, as you can see, yeah, maxed out PR is 95.5. So technically, I should be able to complete the series uh, as long as I win this car. How much upgrades I put on this car eh, at the moment doesn't really matter. Anyway, so tier one cup, single lap cup at Silverstone International. That's not a terribly long race. All right, well, let's use gold and unlock the tier two. We got speed record at Monza road course, head to head at Daytona road course, and single lap, right? And then the cup for tier 2 is gonna be at Melbourne with a PR requirement of 82.5 so if you're using I guess any of these cars their base PR is all below that so any of the three cars you're gonna need uh, at least some of those first tier racing dollar upgrades to get past that all right and tier 3 we got endurance at Brands Hedge, Hunter at Circuit of the Americas Club Circuit, so that's a pretty short lap. And then Cup is going to be at Spa, PR 83.4 required, just a single lap, so not a terribly long race is featured in bonus this bonus series so far. And then up next, you only need eight gold trophies to unlock this uh, showcase, by the way. So so far, there's been nine events, right? Three per tier. So that is, of course, because in case you decide to skip the showcase event, it'll still unlock tier six. So if you look at the tier six, it's going to say, yes, nine trophies to unlock this one. So essentially, you can kind of skip on over any particular showcase if you uh, are not ready for it, for whatever reason. Anyway, Royera gets an uh, autocross at Hockenheim Short and Cup at Catalonia National. And it's going to be a single lap, so boy, that's going to be over before you know it. And uh, of course, when you unlock the time trial, um, the showcase, the time trial will unlock at the same time. And we're going to have the time trial for Riera it at the Brickyard, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, road course. And looks like some fast guys are wrapping it under a minute, which is uh, pretty fast. <laughs> All right. 
Anyway, moving on to tier six. We got Speed Snap at Suzuka Grand Prix, head to head at 24 hour circuit. And the single lap there is fine since that is a pretty lengthy circuit. Le Mans, of course. And then tier six cup is gonna be a Nurburgring sprint circuit with a PR requirement of 85.8. And this is gonna be a double lap cup. So yeah, sprint circuit, once again, not a terribly long circuit, especially with these cars. You know, I mean, when they're pushing like upwards of 400 plus kilometers per hour as a top speed. And their acceleration is not that bad either. Actually, their braking distance isn't bad. It's just that in comparison to their top speed, it's just, you know, because their top speed is so high, it just takes a while for you to slow down. So that's just something that you got to kind of keep things in perspective. That's what I think. Anyway, upon completing tier 6, you'll unlock tier 7. Unless you've done some, uh, you've won... Uh, at least a trophy or two in that showcase event. Tier 7, we got Endurance at Mazda Raceway, Speed Record at Berlin. All right. They're forcing these cars into a very tight space, I feel like. <laughs> and then Cup is going to be at Red Bull Ring National Circuit, not Grand Prix. PR requirement 86.6, and it's going to be three laps. So that's, of course, going to be a pretty short three laps with these cars. And then next tier, tier eight, we got Hunter at Mount Panorama. So that's a full lap at a decent size circuit. Speed snap at Manza Junior course. So that is uh, on the on the back side of the circuit, right? As soon as you kind of come out of the, the S's, if you will. And then the cup for tier eight is gonna be at Bugatti circuit. PR 87.5 is required. And it's gonna be two laps there. All right, and of course, um, even if you skip the Riera showcase, you will still be able to unlock the Koenigsegg one to one showcase in tier nine which also will unlock at the same time the time trial, as you can see, 17 trophies, both. And then the next tier is gonna be the 18 trophy for if you decide to skip. Right, so Koenigsegg one to one showcase. We got head to head at Porsche Test Track, short road circuit, just a single lap. So a lot of short events. All right, and then Cup is gonna be at Hockenheim Grand Prix three laps. I think that's the longest race that we've seen in this series so far. Anyway, the time trial for Koenigsegg 1 to 1 will take place at Daytona Road Course. So I feel like out of the three, so far what I felt, how, how the, the Gera RS drives, I still think 1 to 1 is a better car. It, I mean... I don't know. Riera, it, it's just a beast, right? I mean, top speed is super high. I mean, all three cars, top speed is just out of this world. But I feel like Koenigsegg like one to one just handles better. Does it have higher um, grip? I don't know. Let's, uh, I guess we'll, we can check in and find out. But anyway, let's unlock tier 11 here. We got autocross at the Brickyard Road Course. Elimination at Hockenheim National and Cup here is going to be at Mazda Raceway. Four laps with the PR requirement of 87.5. And let's compare the yeah, grip 1.86G on this one. And the braking distance of 22.5 meters. So that's why it feels like... The handling on this guy is significantly uh, improved compared to, really, honestly, all the other Conic 6. Right, and then we'll see how, when this car gets more upgrades, we'll see how it alters the balance. But for now, 
let's continue on to the next tier, tier 12. All right, we got Hunter at Silverstone International and Endurance at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. National again, huh? But we do get a cup at the Grand Prix Circuit of Red Bull Ring. Four laps. All right, PR 89.9 is required. And let's see, that's a, yeah, four laps. So we're getting a little bit lengthier race as we go deeper into the series here. All right, tier 13. We got speed record at Catalonia Club, autocross at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. And the cup here is gonna be at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. Three laps, so all right. Of course, this is a bit longer Grand Prix circuit than the Red Bull ring. So it's fitting, we get three laps here. And this one PR requirement 91.5. So yeah, we're getting pretty high up here. All right, moving on. The tier 14, we got the Guerra RS showcase. So if you don't win the car through the special event, this would be an opportunity to get it with the, I guess, 20% discount. So the car is worth 1,000 gold, so you still have to pay 800 gold, which is a lot of gold. <laughs> anyway, the, for Koenigsegg uh, Gera RS Showcase, we got Speed Snap at Berlin. And the cup for this one is going to be at Manza Road Course. Three laps. So, all right. So, not short. And just like the other showcase and time trial pair, this one will unlock at the same time as the showcase. And that's good to see that nobody that I know has completed this one, considering that would be considered hacking. Let's see. How did these goofballs obtain this car already and have done this time trial? Hmm. Time travelers, I would say. Because car's not available yet. You know, it's, uh, yes. Either you have, I mean, car's not going to be available even for sale until the 26th of January, 2020. So I don't know how these guys get a hold of the car to do this uh, time trial here. But as you can see, nobody that I know, no TSM here. So good to see that. No hackers in my circle. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, tier 16. It's going to be like towards, we're heading towards the final 25% tier here. So you got head to head at Spa, single lap. Hunter is going to be at Porsche Test Track Long Road Circuit. And the cup for tier 16, we got Catalonia Grand Prix, three laps, and the PR requirement 91.5. So it looks like a three lap Grand Prix is about uh, as long as these things are going to get, at least for the time being. Let's uh, keep unlocking and see if we get anything longer. All right, so tier 17, a speed record at Daytona, motorcycle course. Not that it really matters. <laughs> Because your speed is going to be set on that, you know, speedway section, the outer rim. And then we get elimination at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. But it's an elimination, so uh, I don't think the venue really makes much of a difference there. And then the tiers, uh, the 17, the cup is going to be at Dubai Grand Prix. PR 92.1. And once again, it's going to be triple lap Grand Prix circuit cup. All right, tier 18, we got autocross at Silverstone Grand Prix, speed snap at Bugatti Circuit, and the cup for tier 18, uh, Suzuka Grand Prix, 92.9 is the PR requirement, and of course, Suzuka is pretty decent length, and we're getting four lap cup here. So, all right, so final three tiers, maybe we'll get a bit lengthier race let's check into tier 19 here 
Endurance at Monza Road Course, Hunter at Melbourne, and Cup at Nürburgring Grand Prix with a PR requirement of 94. So all three cars can reach this. And four lap Grand Prix Circuit Cup, this one at Nürburgring. So once again, all three cars should be able to tackle that one. And finally, the final tier, tier 20, elimination at Dubai National, autocross at Brands Hatch, and the cup is going to be at the 24-hour circuit. Le Mans, with the PR requirement of 94.6, which unfortunately, Royera cannot race in. Right. All right, and it's going to be three laps at 24-hour circuit, so that's a decent length. But because this one, you know, bonus series, the payout is usually kind of nerfed. So unfortunately, there, if you're running it for fame points or basically farming for resources, this probably isn't the best one to do, you know. But anyway, 94.6 PR. Obviously, as you can see, Chronic Seg 1 to 1, fully upgraded. You can definitely reach it. And considering the Agera RS, when it's maxed out, PR is 96.1. So it goes actually higher than 1 to 1. So that obviously can participate this, unlock this race. Uh, Riera just can't do it. So, um, 20 tiers and three time trials and three two race tiers the showcase tiers right so let's see that means technically we have more like uh, 14 proper tiers and then three tiers with time trials and another three with the showcases so uh it's a little bit uh and those um showcases and time trials are more in the first th first uh three quarters of the series which means your completion tier will most likely place a little bit later than the tier five for example so what i'm saying is tier five completing this time trial most likely won't get you the 25 percent completion most likely you'll need some um, trophies one in tier six assuming that you completed tier four showcase if you skip the tier four then you might have to um eh, maybe considering there are three events here in tier six maybe you can get 25 percent completion in tier six or possibly maybe delay to tier seven and then uh 50 completion kind of the same scenario you it'll most likely be in either tier 11 or 12 and then 75 percent completion would have to be delayed till tier 17 or if you're knocking out all the trophies in showcase events as well then most likely tier 16 would be fine i think but then of course 100 percent completion you need everything that's pretty straightforward so yeah um Fully upgrading all these cars will cost you quite a bit. Riera is the cheapest to fully upgrade. That'll cost 709 gold. And uh, fully upgrading one to one will cost 1095 gold. And the uh, Agera RS fully upgrading that baby will cost you 1505 gold. So there's a big gap there between one to one and a gear rs so it's definitely i think worth waiting for um upgrade discount on that car i think but that's just the way i play the game so anyway um thanks for indulging my video here hopefully you guys got some useful information out and uh, if you like the content feel free to subscribe or let me encourage you to subscribe and you know, press the like button, all that stuff that people ask you to do. All right, so we'll head back to maybe I will make some progress in this series in the next video.
So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. All right. Take care, guys.